okay guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that a triangular plate made up of homogeneous material and has a constant thickness that is very small if it is folded over is shown determine the location y bar of the plates center of gravity so we have to find the location of the center of gravity from the from the origin in the y direction so that is y bar so in this problem statement we are only asked to find y bar but we will find this z bar as well right so we are required to find y bar and z bar so as we know that uh, for to find the center of gravity of this rectangular uh, of this triangular plate which is folded we need to uh, divide this into various segments and for those segments we need to know the center of gravity locations right so we need to convert this into such shapes so that the center of gravity of that shape is known to us either from table or from our uh, previous knowledge that we have learned in this particular chapter so now i will convert this uh, whole shape or 3d solid into various segments so let's say this is my segment one and then let's say that this uh, here in this diagram i have shown this orange triangle so let's say this the area inside this orange triangle is let's say segment two and then this hollow space which is the where the material is not present let's say this is area three right this will we will consider this as a negative area in our calculation so this is one then this is two and three then uh, this rectangle is let's say segment four then this triangle is this is let's say area five or segment five and then this is segment six right now we will develop that table so we will write the number of each segment then we will find the area of each segment and its unit will be in inch square then we will find y tilde and then z tilde of each segment then we will take the y tilde times the area product this is area so y tilde times area product for each segment and that is then the product of z tilde times area and as we can see that uh, this whole 3d solid is symmetrical about the y z plane so its centroid will lie on the y z plane so if if the centroid of the uh, of this triangle were triangular side uh, uh, triangular plate lies on the yz axis so the x bar coordinate will be equal to zero so from the symmetry we know that x bar will be equal to zero for the center of gravity of this triangular folded plate so now for area one or for segment one the area is one divided by two since it's a triangle so this is one divided by two the base is two and the height is three so this two will cancel out and we will be left with three inch square so this is three inch square and its, its center of gravity will be somewhere here let's say this is c1 and its location along the y-axis is y tilde right so this distance this is y tilde from the origin or from the z-axis so as we know that for triangle this distance will be h divided by three and this will be considered as h so this is 3 so 3 divided by 3 is 1 so this is the y tilde for the centroid of segment 1 which is 3 divided by 3 that is equal to 1 so we will write that this is 1 now uh, the z bar for the centroid of this segment 1 so this will be z bar and this will be equal to 6 inches if we consider this thickness as negligible then this will be equal to 6 inches so we can say that z tilde for the centroid of uh, segment one is six inches now if we take the product of this y tilde times three so that is one into three so this is three and six into three is 18. similarly we will consider segment two so this is our segment two right so the segment two is again a triangle the area which is bounded by this orange line so that is our segment two so we will write one divided by two now this is the base so this is 3 plus 3 this is 6 so the base is 6 
and the height is 6 plus the height of this, right? If we unfold this, then we will have the same triangle in the unfolded form. So then this total height is, this is 3. This height is 3. So the total height is 9. So this is 6 into 9. Now 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 3 into 9 is 27. So that is 27. So the area of the segment 2 is 27, right? And its centroid, the centroid of this area which is bounded by this orange line will be let's say somewhere here and then it will lie on the z-axis, right? And its height, so this will be its z tilde, this is the distance of the centroid of segment 2, let's say this is the centroid of segment 2. So it, it is lying on the z-axis, so its y tilde will be equal to 0 and its z tilde will be h divided by 3, this will be h divided by 3. Now the height is 9, so 9 divided by 3 is 3, so I will write that this is 3. Similarly, if we take the product, so 27 into 0 is 0 and 3 into 27 is 27 multiplied by 3, so this is 81, so this is 81. Now the segment 3 or we can say that the area 3 which is the negative area so I will write minus 1 divided by 2 and, and this segment 3 will have the same area like this. This is, this is in the unfolded form right. So this is minus 1 divided by 2 the base is 2 and the height is 3 right. So the height is 3 this will again give us 3 in square but this is our negative area we have to subtract it this is minus 3 in square. Now uh, its centroid will also lie on the z-axis, so its centroid will be somewhere here and that is let's say C3 and again uh, the distance of C3 from the origin is, let's say this is the distance of the C3 from the origin, so this will be its z tilde. Again this C3 is lying on the, on the z-axis, so its y tilde will be equal to 0. So we will write that y tilde for segment 3 is 0 and z tilde will be 6 plus this small height, this small height and this small height is again h divided by 3 and now h is 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this is 6 plus 1, so that is 7 inches. So z tilde for c3 is 7 inches and now if I multiply this, so this will become 0 and this is 7 into 3 is 27 but that is minus 27 plus into minus is minus, so that is minus 27. Now the segment 4 which is a rectangle, this segment 4 which is a rectangle, so its area will be this 3, 3 plus 3, so this is 6, 6 multiplied by 3, so this is 18 inch square and its centroid will be at its geometric center, right, since it's a rectangle we are considering this area, this area which is a rectangular area. So its centroid will be at its geometric center if this is segment 4, so this is its centroid is let's say C4. So this distance will be its y tilde. This is y tilde and this will be the half of this 3 inches, right. So 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, so I will write 1.5 and since this C4 is lying on the y axis, so its z tilde will be equal to 0, right. So I will write that this is 0. Now 1.5 into 18. 1.5 into 18, this gives us 27 and 0 into 18 is 0. Now the area 5 or segment 5, so this area 5 is 1 divided by 2, the base is 1 and the height is 3, this height is 3, so this is 3, so 3 divided by 2 is 1.5, I will write that this is 1.5. Again, the, the centroid of uh, this triangle will be somewhere here. It will be somewhere here and, and this distance, this distance will be, this distance from, from this base, the, we know that this distance is h divided by 3. So if this is h divided by 3 and the whole height is h, then this is 2 h divided by 3. So this distance is 2h divided by 3 and from this base this is h divided by 3. So now we know the height of this triangle which is 3. So this distance, this orange distance is, uh, if this is c5 then this is y tilde for this c5 and this is 2h and h is 3. 
the height is 3. So, 2 into 3 divided by 3. So, this gives us 2. So, y tilde for that segment 5 centroid is uh, 3. 2, we can say this is 2 divided by 3 into 3. So, 3 will cancel out. So, that is 2. And again, uh, since it is lying in the, this centroid is lying in the x, y plane, right? So, its z tilde will be equal to 0. So, we can write that z tilde is equal to 0. Now, 2 into 1.5 is 3 and 0 into 1.5 is 0. Now, similarly, we are left with this sixth segment. Again, its area is similar to that triangle. So, that is 1.5. Again, its centroid will be somewhere here. Let's say. So, this will be again 2 divided by 3. 2 divided by 3 into h. This is y tilde for this c6. So, 2 divided by 3 into 3. So, again it is 2. So, from the origin, uh, this is this is its y tilde. So, y tilde is 2. And again, this centroid is lying in the x, y plane. So, its z tilde will be 0. So, again if I multiply this, so this is 3. And 0 into 1.5, this is 0. So, now uh, we will get, we will add up all these areas. Summation of areas of all the segments. And then the summation of y tilde times area and then the summation of z tilde times area. So now if I add up all the areas of all the segments, this is 3, 3, uh, this is 3 plus 27 minus 3 plus 18 plus 1.5 plus 1.5. This gives us 48. The summation of all the areas gives us 48 inches square. Similarly, we can add up this. This is this is uh, three in, three plus twenty seven is thirty. Thirty plus three thirty three and plus three thirty six. So now we will uh, find the summation of z tilde times a product for each and every segment. But here we have done one, one mistake. This is seven into three. This is seven into three is not twenty seven. This is twenty one. So this is minus twenty one. And now we will add up uh, these values. So this is eighteen. 18 plus 81 minus 21 and this gives us 78 so this is 78 and the units of y tilde is in inches the unit of z tilde is in inches this will be y tilde times a so this is inch cube and this is inch cube right so this is in inches cube and this is in inches cube now uh, since we want to find y bar of the centroid so y bar is uh, y bar is the summation of y tilde times area divided by the summation of the area. So the summation of y tilde times area is 36 and this total area is 48. So this y bar is 36 divided by 48. So this gives us 0.75 inches. And similarly, the z bar will be equal to the summation of z tilde times area and divided by the total area. So that is equal to 78. This is 78 divided by 48. So 78 divided by 48. This is 1.625. So z bar is 1.625 inches. So, uh, this is the 3D solid we are given. So, uh, here we are given that G is located somewhere here. Then Y bar is equal to 0 0.75 inches. So, from the origin this uh, center of gravity of this uh, folded triangular plate is 0 0.75 inches and from the origin along the z-axis z bar is 1.625 inches and as I have told you people in the start of this video that this whole 3D solid is symmetrical about the y-z axis so its x bar is equal to 0. So now if we write the coordinates of this center of gravity so the, the x bar is 0, y bar is 0 0.75 and z bar is 1.625. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also, subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.